Hey, how's it going guys? Welcome back to another one of my videos. And today I want to talk about the Pac-Man ROM for the OnePlus One. Um, this is the nightly version that I'm going to be running. There is a staple one, but for this video uh, purpose, I will be running the nightly one. Um, as you can see, uh, Pac-Man ROM is a ROM built on top of Panorama Android, AOKP, and CyanogenMod. Um, it's got quite a bit of uh, features, as you can tell. Um, but one thing that I do want to mention is, I don't know why, but I flashed a stable copy and a nightly copy, and um, see how it says PA uh, uh, in black and um, active display, and uh, where's the other one? The weather, weather uh, uh, status bar weather, something like that. Um, it's right there. It is status bar weather. Um, on my build, for some reason, it's not on there, and um, I tried the stable one and the nightly one, and I can't find it whatsoever. But um, this one thing that I do want to mention is that this ROM is one of the top five ROMs that was mentioned on Android headlines, and um, so yeah, that's a plus. And you could also download it from the XDA thread, and I'll have all this in the description, so don't worry about that. And you could also download it from the OnePlus uh, forum. And um, jumping over to the installation, it's actually quite simple, just like any other ROM that you flash. Um, you download the ROM, and I'll have uh, the link which is this one that I flashed down here and um, I'll have that down in the description so you don't have to worry about hunting for it and um, uh, the installation method is just basically download it and then you flash the gaps which is this tab right here um, you make sure you want to flash the full modular package and um, that's what I flash and it works perfectly um, and then once you're in recovery just make sure you wipe data factory reset flash ROM gaps and reboot your phone and you're good to go um, so yeah that covers this part um, I'm gonna go ahead and show you the uh, quick video review so um, and uh, yeah I'll be right back hey guys I'm back and um, I'm gonna show you a quick hands-on review on the actual ROM on my OnePlus one so here it is it's actually shut off and I want to show you how it looks like when it turns on all right there it goes And the boot animation is actually pretty awesome. I like it. I like it a lot. It doesn't have sound. It's just quick short animation. And it's loading. And a, a good thing to mention on this ROM is that um, it's hev it's not heavily modified, but whenever it's changing, like rebooting and whatnot, it has this little quick animation. I'll show you that. Let me raise the brightness real quick, and um, I actually want to note that there are some things in this ROM that don't look like whenever you flash it out of the box. Um, or not out of the box, but whenever you flash it in recovery and you turn it on for the first time. I have a lot of uh, exposed modules currently installed on my phone, if you can't tell. Have quite a bit, quite a bit, and they all work. But um, like for example, the blurriness and stuff that's not on the actual ROM. That's the exp an exposed module. But anyways, jumping onto the actual ROM, let's go to the settings. And one, the first thing that I want to show you is that it does look like any other Cyanogen mod ROM that you flash. It's got the, you know, the basic uh, for all actual options and settings. But the one thing that there is about it is the pack settings right there. Um, before I jump into it, I do want to show you. Scroll through that. The um, the about the phone area. It's see as you can tell, it's running the latest 4.4.4 beta one, and um, as you can see, it's just other information right there. I I uh, I've enabled developer uh, options by typing my build number several times, and there it is right there, developer options. But going back to the top. And see how I did that by just tapping. That's an actual exposed module. That's not the actual ROM. I just want to point that out so you guys don't get confused. But going to the actual pack settings, um, it has it has quite a little bit of nice features. And I do want to mention one of the biggest features I was looking for is actually broken, which is a big uh, sad face. But um, Pi does work. I've tested it, but I'm not a big Pi guy, so I just like using my on-screen nav buttons even though the OnePlus One does have the actual hardware uh, physical but buttons that you can use. Um, 
but let's start up in the beginning. The pack console is basically what I was telling you, the OTA updates. You can toggle them if you want it to be nightly, dev built or stable as you can tell I have nightly and um, if you want to turn it on, it's off right now, turn it on right now at the very top and you just click download zip but it's actually broken as you can tell, watch. It'll say that it's downloading but look how quick it finishes downloading and it's done and when actually you go navigate to it and you look at the file I'm not gonna do it but once you if you go in it it's empty and it doesn't work at all and um, thank God I have a, a backup of this of, of this because when I flashed it it completely corrupted my um didn't corrupt it but it, it didn't flash anything and it failed so that's just something to point out but going back to the actual um, OTA uh, updates uh, feature it's nice to have but if it's not working then I don't see a point of it um, it does have a change log options which is actually pretty nifty because you don't have to go on the website and constantly check uh, you know what's been happening um, and as you can tell I'm a little bit behind I gotta update it so maybe that might be why my OTA isn't working but um, let's head back to the features uh, section and the pack settings you can see um, there's a recent panel settings but um, I have all this already customized in my exposed module so I don't really need to you know enable any of these options but um, the last thing that I do want to mention is that there is a little as you can see a little uh, animation for the uh, progress bar and it looks pretty nice I like it and you can change it you can put mirror mode you can do reversed and I mean it's just nothing huge but it's definitely something nice to have Got a little bit of eye candy and um, yeah that's about it you can change the colors and that's 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 it so um, this ROM is actually in my taste I like it but it's not amazingly um, and I said, it's not the best in my opinion. Thank God for exposed module, because if it wasn't for that, I wouldn't have a lot of the uh, features that I have, like things like this and like, you know whatnot. I'm not gonna go through that because I have too many. But yeah, that's about it. This is my little quick review, and I hope you guys enjoyed it. And the last thing that I do want to show is that whenever you do turn it off, and you, or you're gonna reboot it and go to recovery, it has that little nice animation that I was showing you guys, and it's just something that I, appeals my eyes. So this is it. You see that little animation? That's actually pretty cool. So, yep, that's about it, guys. And I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you, and if you have anything to say or any uh, advice and uh, comments, just put it down below. And make sure you subscribe. Have a good day, guys.